I don't believe it. What? Well, it says see it to believe it. Oh, see what? I don't believe it. Oh, I don't. Rock City. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I noticed that you didn't have the side of your house painted with that. Did you no, got a no. that and the mail pouch was on the other side. That's did right. You get a, and I didn't have did to pay to get my house painted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's good. All the paint I could mm -hmm. eat. Well, if you don't live in the South, I'm sorry, you won't understand that. Any of it. None of it. Most people don't understand the show anyway. Sometimes I don't. Welcome to Cook and Keep. I'm Larry Bly. And, <laughs> and I'm Laban Johnson. Whoever he is. We've got some more letters. We're getting real fancy ones now, all kinds of things. This, this person writes to us frequently. Mm -hmm. Sylvia, the lovely Sylvia Palmer. Uh -huh. She says, Dear Darling Boys, that's what it says. I want the recipe for show 607. Here's a recipe for you. Egg foo young. Take one young egg and foo it. I don't know. <laughs> she sent another one. She says, here's another recipe for you. Apple brown Betty. Take one girl name. Well, yeah, just, that's, we won't even finish that one. Sylvia got carried away. Uh, uh, Conrad Hagland from uh, Arlington, Virginia said that uh, they were real happy to see that we were back on the air again and when did we tape the show that they would like to drive down and see it we tape it on mondays but call ahead to make sure we're doing it <laughs> and they i think that's really interesting they wrote that from a resort hotel uh -huh. <laughs> it said us that people just catch ah, on amazing. to us all of kindly send me your recipe for black walnut brittle and i didn't get the name for the brown sugar and sour cream gook you were mixing. Ooh. You, uh, I, you'd forgotten to name it, but I know you'll know what I mean. It looked ooh so good. Respectfully, Mrs. Julia Evans. Julia, it was sour cream candy, darling. That's what it was called. You yeah. came so close to the title. Uh huh. And uh, Susan Heyer wrote from Harrisonburg, Virginia, that uh, she and her kids love to watch our show. And we're so glad that you are bringing your children up in the American way and teaching them all of the fine values that's expressed on this show. And with that happy note, <laughs> let's go to the kitchen. I have a long recipe today, and that's why. Well, what we're are not... you doing? I oh, am... that's right. I remember from last week. I am doing pork souffle, which, by the way, I want you to see. It says here on the typewritten sheet. It says pearl. Souffle, <laughs> P-O-R-L. Oh. Took me a while to find some uh, uh, two cups of pearl, but I found <laughs> it. And it doesn't say who sent this in, so I guess nobody did. No, that's one we made up since some some chump wrote in and said, you know, why don't you do a pork souffle, ha ha, winky winky. And we just wanted to show them, so we came up with one. All right, I got to get moving here. So right, uh, first thing I want to do is tell you that I, I cooked up, I pre-cooked some pork yesterday, okay? And once you cook the pork, you take it and, and dice it, all right? Chop it all up into to nice chunks like that. After it's good, this is very highly flavored. Got a little pepper on it <laughs> and, and some salt. But that's real good. Now, that, uh, that was in the refrigerator overnight, and I brought that down here. First thing we got to do, though, is we got to start with a white sauce. So I'm going to turn the thing on right off the bat, and we're going to do a little white sauce with a cup, a quarter cup of flour and some milk. Quarter cup of flour, approximately. There we go. And we will start, actually it's one and a half cups of milk, but you don't start out with all one and a half right off the bat. You kind of ease into it a little bit, put just enough in there so that you can start thickening it up. And you'll have to do that on a hot heat, on a hot heat. So I'm only going to do about that much of it until it starts to get thick. Maybe I'll do about that much of it. No, I think, I'll, no, that's not. But anyway, now I'm going to start heating that up real hot right off the bat. And that's all I'm going to do. Now, while I'm waiting for that to heat up and watch it very carefully, you don't want it to burn on the bottom. You have to get that off the sides there. While I'm doing that, I'm going to chop up a teaspoon of onion finely chopped and a quarter cup of chopped green pepper. You can be doing that while you're waiting for that mess to get heated up. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, Laban, you can start yours. Well, thank you, Larry. I am slicing two Granny Smith apples. These are green apples, and if you will notice, 
right here. This apple has a label on it, and there's a reason, and this is just a little piece of uh, it says made in trivia. Japan. No, it says France. And the reason for that is oh, Lord. that there's Here we been, go again. no, there, there's a there's an interesting reason. Uh -huh. Most of the Granny Smith <laughs> apples that are available in this country Peru. off, no, 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 <laughs> off season I'm used sorry. to come from South Africa. And so many people have quit buying products from South Africa that they want to make sure that you'll buy the Granny Smiths, so they're, they label them to tell you where they came from. Where have you gotten all of this information lately that like pours I, forth from your lips? Well, like I say, I study food. Uh huh. It's a, well, I mean, we're, I noticed you had bags under your eyes. Did you stay up all night? Uh, all night long. Studying this? Mm -hmm. or, uh, Cramming for this Well, we're going to give you a test later on, right. so we're glad you studied. But anyway, these are two non-contraband Granny Smiths from France. <laughs> and. Uh, Granny Smith is a wonderful apple to cook with because it holds its shape. It doesn't come apart. Uh-huh. And uh, is this thing going to heat or but what? But any good tart cooking apple would do the, do the, are you having a hard time? No, 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 no. I'm just getting a little nervous. Oh, all right. Just a little nervous. Now, in my frying pan over here, I have a half a <laughs> stick of butter and Rosemary, Rosemary, Rosemary Morris of Center, Texas, sent this recipe in to me. So I'm following her directions. Well, why'd she as send it to I, you? Because she said, please do not let Larry cook this dish. <laughs> and I'm trying to follow her direction, and she said, no butter. Uh, she said, nothing but butter. So, as you know, because of my heart, ordinarily I would not do butter. Oh, for heaven's but sake. But I'm using it today. <sighs> so that's real butter. And these are real Granny Smiths. And she gave me one assignment that was almost impossible for me to come up with. But Wallet. I, but I tried. Wallet. Well, I'll, I'll tell you about it in a little while. Wallet. I wish I'd brought my apple core. All right, today. now look at here. This is your last chance to take a look. This stuff is starting to thicken up. And when it starts to thicken, put the rest of your milk in it, please. There you go. You now have a cup and a half of milk in there and we're making a white sauce on a very hot heat so I'm still continuing to stir it and as soon as it thickens up we'll put I a half a stick of margarine. Stir crazy, right? <laughs> yes. As soon as it, it gets thick, which it will in a couple of minutes, we're going to put a, a half a stick of margarine in there and let it melt and we'll pull it off the heat because we don't want to do it any damage. Okay Laban. Well, I'm just still slicing up my apples. Oh, okay. Here. Well, while you're doing that, you let me ahead. tell you that we're going to take uh, uh, four eggs. We're going to take four eggs. We're going to separate them. You know, I always think that's real sad when you have to separate them, but mm. you do have to do that. Oh, look, a double yolk. Oh, no. Did you actually it's get one? It's never happened to me in years. Well, that means you're going to get married sometime in the next week. It I does. guess your wife is going to be real upset about that. Well, I reckon she will. A double marriage. Uh, that's one. Be careful, Laban. I just threw that on the floor. I'm having to do three. Ah! <laughs> what? what? Uh, well, you know what? Now, you know what's happened? It's messed what? up. My, it, It's gotten yolk in my weights, and I'm afraid it's not going to do what it's going to do here. Oh, I know. I know it's sad. But hey, when uh -oh, it oh, you're right. When it doesn't fluff up, uh, then it's not going to be so funny. All right, take a look at this. <laughs> We've heard that loud. All right, before. this stuff looks like you could put wallpaper up with it. All right, take a look at it. There it is. It's nice and thick, very, very thick. Now at this point, pull it off the heat, and we will work into it. <laughs> I'm just so nervous. A half a Stick of margarine. Hey, relax. It's only national television. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And do that. Meanwhile, do you think that I'm going to have any success? I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to live dangerously, but I'll tell you one thing. If it messes up, I don't have any spare eggs. And there will go that recipe down the hole. All right. How many is that? Is that three? I've lost count. Stir that up over there. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Floor crew says three. Or was that trigger? Okay. It was champion. Now, what you got to do is take this and make the obligatory stiff peaks that you've heard so much about. 
We'll see whether these things do what they're supposed to do. I don't know. Well, I believe they're, just, they're starting to aerate. Yeah, I believe they're going to work. It's real sad, but this is as much as this thing will do. That's about as exciting as this recipe gets for a couple of minutes. What you doing over there, Laban? Well, now I've got my apples in the half a stick of butter, and incidentally, our good friend Rosemary says this has to be done in a cast iron skillet. So I'm using... Oh, they've got a new sign for us, Bly. You missed it. They were giving us a time cue, and it looked like somebody was fighting off a vampire. <laughs> uh, they were. Anyway, this is my grandmother's cast iron skillet. Get back in there. And why do I smell chocolate? What do you smell? Chocolate. I don't know. I'm not making that chocolate. I believe the crew is eating candy bars. Oh. Now these apples have to be cooked in this butter in the cast iron skillet for five minutes. And I still got another couple of minutes. And then when that's finished, you have to add two cups of cho chopped cabbage. I'm sorry, but this thing is taking entirely too long to make stiff peaks. Well, we may I, have to be satisfied with flaccid peaks, with soft peaks, or no peaks at all. Oh, here it's coming. It's finally coming. Well, you could put some cream of tartar in there. Nah, I believe in doing it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> all right, let's see if we got peaks yet here. They're not stiff. Those are goopy peaks. All right, go ahead, Laban. There's not much I can do while I'm doing this. I can tell. I'd like to be doing a lot of other things. I wish we could get a silent mixer. I of course, I've always they're... been partial as a mixer to club soda, but... <laughs> okay, there we go. There's stiff peaks. Now, isn't that right? A stiff dump bump Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right, got those. All right. Now, mix in the margarine, turn down the heat just a little tad bit here, and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your onions in there, and your green peppers, and mix those in there. Oh, doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. That nice white sauce. Now on I'm adding. Now I'm adding my cabbage, my two cups of cabbage, to this dish. And you cook the cabbage in with the apples now for uh, five minutes. And we're gonna then we're gonna throw in the seasoning. Oh, Larry, that just looks real exciting. Oh, it really is. Now what we're doing here at this point, <laughs> <laughs> and we all know better, is we're just taking these egg yolks. You probably recognize egg yolks when yeah, you see them. Yeah, those are the yolks. Those folks. are the yolks, that's right. And we're just kind of mixing them up a little bit, beating up on them a little bit. And we're going to add that into this mix in just a couple of seconds. We'll stir that back into the sauce, off the heat, and we'll mix it all well. Then you add your pork and your salt, and then we'll see what we do after that. All right? Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna take that and put that down in there. I wish I had a decent spoon. I thought I had one. This makes me mad. Things is tough all over. Now we're gonna mix that in there. It's getting to be right pretty. I swear that's a, certainly is an athletic recipe. It really is. I have built up. Look at that. That's Where? incredible, isn't it? What? Well, you see it there. there. I'm amazed that it, you can make that flab. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's true. All right, let me get some of this junk out of the way. Got too much junk in front of me. Can't concentrate. I'm getting nervous. Okay, now what you need to do at this point is you need to. Put your pork into this mess. 
put your fork in it. Pork. Oh, pork. pork. Watch. <laughs> All now, chopped oh, up. is that previously cooked pork? Well, I should certainly hope so. <laughs> no, I did explain that earlier. However, you were down the hall powdering your nose at oh. the time, so getting ready for the program. But yes, it was cooked yesterday afternoon, and it was cubed by me personally. Now, see, this is a nice, thick, white sauce with that egg. Now, now, we take our egg whites with the stiff peaks and we're going to fold that into there too. Isn't this something? It's something. It's utterly amazing. Something. I'm telling you it's something. All right. Fold that into the mixture real good. And it's going to take me a couple of minutes to do that because if you don't fold it in real good it all sets on top and then it burns on top. You don't want that to happen. So. Just gingerly fold it in. You don't want to beat it in because if you do, well, it'll just won't be nice and frothy and light. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mm-hmm. It really is. It's pretty. Okay. What are you doing now, Johnson? Well, I had my cabbage in here for almost five minutes. I got another minute to go, and then I'll add the fine seasoning that goes into this dish. Okay. This, this is looking great. Now we're going to take, you could, this would really be beautiful, as you mentioned, in a souffle dish because it puffs all up and gets just real gorgeous. But what I'm going to do today, because I don't have a souffle dish with me, and because my, my real nice casserole is already in the oven with the real thing in it baking even as we speak, I'm going to take this casserole dish and I'm going to grease it just a little bit before we put all this mixture in there. And that's what I'm going to do. Because I've done everything there is to do. Well, good. while you're doing that, let me um, add one and a half ounces of, how, is that a jigger? What is that? Is that no, I stock? think it's a flea. Oh, 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 okay. Of vinegar, and this should be apple cider vinegar, not white, not flavored, just plain old apple cider vinegar. A handful of brown sugar. Brown sugar. Oh no, oh, this is always the moment of truth. Don't tell me we're going to get saddled with some more low down brown sugar that's going oh. over the hill. Oh, I forgot to put some salt in this. I forgot to add salt. <sighs> Half a teaspoon. That's not very much, so if it's missing, no one will know. Mm. I'll put it in now. Gosh. Mix this that in there just too. Didn't want to do it. Didn't want to do what? Do its thing. Oh. All right. Well, that sure is smelling real nice. Mm -hmm. Get all this goop and out of the way here. Also, um, Rosemary says that you're supposed to use in this dish a couple of dashes of Louisiana hot sauce. Now, I think I know what she means, but I couldn't find any. She said not Tabasco, but I found this fine pick a pepper sauce. A what? Pick a pepper sauce that's Jamaican, and I'm going to use that instead, so I'm going to put a a hefty dash. Don't they of make the, that down in Peru? Oh, the, no. <laughs> I swear he'll never. Just because I studied up on potatoes last week, he'll never get over that. That is lovely. Boy, I'm telling you, that's smelling good. I have a funny feeling this is going to be one where the staff comes out and eats. Well, you know, they've been well a little... I mean, is there one where they never come out and eat? Come on. Give me, well, me that time food. you did gizzards, they all <laughs> ran down the hall. And what? And oxtail soup. They weren't too yes. excited. Or about Doris that. Ford's delicious uh, dish. Uh, whatever that was. Which will go down in infamy. In infamy is a part of history. Now I got to turn the heat down on this and let it. Oh, I forgot to turn off my. Excuse me, folks. How terrible. Reaching right across in the shot. Hm. Well, that way your <laughs> shirt will smell good around the. Okay, well, are, are you uh, finished up there? Yeah, just about. Yeah, go right ahead. Well, I have greased this fine uh, casserole dish. And now all you do is you turn this into it. And I'm telling you, this will puff up and get brown and get down with it. And I, I'm not kidding you. Yesterday afternoon, my kitchen was so aromatic as a result of bacon, the one that's going to come out of the oven in a couple mm -hmm. of minutes. It is absolutely lovely. This will just get real puffy, real puffy. 
and brown. It's gorgeous. Now what you do is you bake that for one hour at 350 degrees or until set, and then you serve it right away while it's all puffy and beautiful. Oh. And that's it. Well, for goodness sakes, you didn't have to get puffy with this black. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, it's good. Now, this dish needs to simmer for another five minutes. That's 15 minutes all together. Five with the apples, five with the cabbage, five with the seasoning. And then you uh, put it in a serving bowl or in separate bowls and you let it cool for five minutes. Yeah. And we won't let it cool for quite five minutes, but close to it. Why don't we bring up these recipes? All right. And look at them here. Let's bring them up. The pork souffle. Now, I know it kind of sounds strange, a pork souffle, but it really is delightful. A quarter cup of flour margarine to make your, your white sauce with. One and a half cups of milk. Four egg yolks beaten, two cups of pork cooked and chopped in advance. One teaspoon of onion finely chopped, a little chopped green pepper. Half teaspoon of salt and four egg whites beaten stiffly. And you take those egg whites and you fold them into the mixture and, and uh, all of that and then you turn it into a greased uh, dish and bake it for an hour, 350 degrees. Now the fried apples and cabbage, you melt a half a stick of butter in a cast iron skillet over medium heat, add two sliced Granny Smith apples and stir for five minutes. Add two cups finely sliced chopped cabbage and stir for an additional five minutes. Uh, add a half, one and a half ounces of cider vinegar, a handful of brown sugar, and a dash of Louisiana hot sauce, not Tabasco. Reduce heat and simmer for another five minutes and divide equally on salad plates and let cool for at least five minutes. And then right before we serve, we'll add a dollop of sour cream. I want you to see this is pretty. It's not quite as pretty as it was yesterday because the puffiness has gone out of it, having been transferred from one place to another all day long until I got to the studio mm -hmm. from work. But anyway, it was real puffy and pretty, but it is still lovely. That's what it looks like. Isn't that nice? Well, it certainly is. And this is our dish. Where is Miss Witch? We need to get that. Uh, lovely lady well, I hear here. she's gone on strike oh no she hadn't done that we're paying her too good oh our, yeah well, she's got well, at least twice what we're getting certainly a possibility come here honey <laughs> if I get my hands on that witch's broom <laughs> it'll be all over <laughs> get out of here <laughs> he's so delicate with her <laughs> well let's see what to say this week hey how come you guys never do desserts I know both of you are a little too plump, but why don't you go easy on the grape and fix us a dessert? We all need a little sweet stuff, if you catch my drift. <laughs> and it's signed love, Barbie LaRue of Denton, Texas. <laughs> I think it's interesting that the, the last couple of weeks' letters, uh, everybody's been using the same station. They're not Have dumb. You, <laughs> you noticed that? They <laughs> like to send, well, let's go over here. Barbie LaRue, is it? Of Denton, Texas. Of Denton, Texas. Would you... Uh, uh, spread those out for me, I please. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I was talking about. <laughs> oh, I haven't got anything to get that out with. Now, I'll I, be back. I could use a teaspoon while you're over in the silver chest. What's it worth to you? Uh, I don't know. This is just real pretty with all this cabbage. And Did you find something over there? Success, I I'm have found everything we need. Oh my goodness, the bowl is running over here. Now wait a minute, I'm not finished. Oh with well, plate. it looks like calm the down. greatest of plenty to me. <laughs> uh, the obligatory dollop. dollop. <laughs> the dollop has landed. All right. <laughs> All right. Now let me get you some of this. Okay, because we're gonna run out of time. Oh, I we're not gonna run it. out of time. You're just so nervous. Well, didn't they just tell us they only had a minute That's or so two? so pretty. Oh, well, I don't pay any attention. Oh, I see. We have a minute <laughs> instead of or two. Well, this does look real pretty blind. It's just real light and frothy. All right. Mm -hmm. It looks right hot. Oh, the pork souffle is really interesting. Mm. It's good. I would not have thought it, but it is. It's real good. And so are the apples. Oh, I just wish I could have more of them. But That you know, is. That's real good. Have more of this, what? Of the apples, but you know, none of this is heart attack stuff, so. Oh, it's good. Oh, mm. looks good. Looks good. Let me try some of this. 
Well, I haven't mm -hmm. tried this pork mm -hmm. souffle. <laughs> well, I think I could recommend both of these dishes, myself personally. Mmm, that is good. Bye. See you next week.